Yo, what's up? It's time to mess them up. E, lead four, I'm coming through those doors. Raiju and Soligra are gonna beat ya when they meet ya. Uh, look, just look. Look, look, look. Don't ask. I'm feeling super chip. Um. No, thank you. No, thank you, Luigi's Haunted Mansion. I'm good. I don't want any of that mess. But yeah, like I was saying, don't ask me why I did that. I'm super cheerful. It pops into my head. I just kind of ran with it. All right, so slight update. We're gonna just uh, just kind of uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Shadow claw, shadow claw, shadow claw. I'm gonna teach some some peeps some uh, claws of shadows. Let's give you that shadow claw. And have you learned this again? I do not need bulk up for this. I know what I'm gonna replace Shadow Claw with when I get it. That's gonna be like another four or five levels before I get there. But let's keep this going. So obviously last time we beat uh, Sydney. Let's see, she uses ghost types. So, uh, actually, I'm gonna start with Vakona. I'm gonna let her soak up some of the, the deeps here. I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained there, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. The bond I developed with my Pokemon is extremely tight. Come on, just try and see if you can inflict any damage on my Pokemon. Elite Four, Phoebe. Ooh, starting out strong with a Dusclops. All right. See how well I do with this. All right, confuse Ray. Okay. I I respect. I respect. Draining kiss. Yeah, psychic definitely did a lot more. Hey, I'm okay with you cursing yourself, dude, because you just did that. So that's not a problem for me. All right, awesome. Vakona's level 45 now. The important thing that I do now, now that he used Curse, I need to... Ow. I need to switch onto somebody else. So that way the Curse wears off. Alright, let's see. You said Bayonet. Do you have Crunch still? Yes, you do. Let's go with Astalos. Hit you up with a crunch. Mouch, crunch, mouch. Good night. Ooh, Shadow Ball. Alright, run that back. Aw, oh, man, that's not fair. Alright, this should finish it. Or you just use a second floor restore. Come on. Just faint for me, please. Thank you. All right, nice. I still have level 49. Alright, Jet's level 42. Scary face. Not really a requirement here. Dust Noir. Ooh. Under pressure. Just as bad as a Dust Clops. Ooh, Ice Punch. 
Ooh, that was... That was painful. Hmm. Hmm, who do I trust in this one? Let's go with Raiju. Gonna get beefy. Hit you up with an iron tail. Hit him up with the big boy status. Wait for it. Wait for it. Big boy! Ah, oh, he avoided. Ah, oh, how are you gonna use Hex on me? Jerk. Iron Tail. Slap him up with the big boy tail. Hit him up with the roughneck base. Bada boom. Alright, that takes care of Dustmar. Ride you're getting a fat load of EXP. Automatize? I mean, that just makes you faster, right? Uh, yeah. Mmm. Good without it, thanks. No. We're gonna. We're gonna not learn that. Aw, oh, man. Not a Sable Eye. I hate them so much. Mmm, I hate Sable Eyes. Let's go, Vakona. <clears throat> so, I'm just gonna see if they're gonna do what I think they're gonna do. Either she's gonna Mega Evolve and use Fake Out, or she's just gonna use Fake Out right away, but in either case, I'm okay. Oh, she just went straight for the Shadow Claw, okay. So fake out's not gonna work. Ow. Can I draining kiss you? Thank you. You're gonna shadow claw me again, so I'm just gonna die. Unless I survive with that draining kiss. Nope. Alright. Uh Cell might be useful here. Go ahead and see bomb. There we go. Alright, so Leaguer's level 55, I like it. Oh, Bayonet, okay. Seed bomb again. And goodbye. Alright. That takes care of her. Oh darn, I've gone and lost. There's definitely a bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize that fact, so it's only natural that I lost. Hold on. I know there's a thing about seeing a ghost over Phoebe's shoulder, I just don't remember where it is. Yep, I'd like to see how far you and your bond will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next room. Man, I didn't see it, okay. If I remember what it's about, I'll have it on screen, I'm sure. Alright, so... Hmm... If I remember my types, the next one should be an ice type, which will not be fun. Oh man, I have no more revives. Oh no. This could be very bad for me. I might actually lose here. Huh. I had not thought about that. Oh boy. Alright, well, yep, it's definitely a nice type, but... Okay, thanks for the blizzard. Wow. Can I slide on this? Do I? Aww. I that would have been a great thing for Nintendo to put there, just 
frozen over, you push up once and you just slide all the way there. Alright, now... I'm gonna put Sleeker up front. Oh, man, this is gonna suck. Um... Because I don't have any other fighting type moves. I need to teach Sleeker something. But I only have bulk up, which is not useful. I'm gonna teach Raiju Flamethrower, I think. Alright, let's see what we have. Rock Slide, Thunder, Iron Tail. And I'm sure you guys might be wondering, well, why are you teaching him this? I don't think there's any real use for Thunder anymore at this point. So we're rid of Thunder. Watch this come to bite me in the ass later. It's gonna be like, oh, well, first Pokemon she brings out is a water type. I'm just gonna cry myself to sleep. I, hopefully, I'm praying if I remember this. I know she has a wall rain in her team somewhere. Now, the thing is, I'm remembering my original Ruby Sapphire Emerald days, not so much my Omega Ruby days, because I know her team will change. I'm gonna start with Cell. Cell's gonna test the waters here. Welcome. My name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled a from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my Ice-type powers. Moves, powers, I'm not Elsa. But I've also seen challenges. All I've seen are challenges by weak Pokemon and their trainers. Dang. I know I'm reading that backwards, but I'm tired. I wonder what you will show me. What a relief it would be if for once I could have a serious battle against an opponent. Listen here, cocky Glacia. I'm about to teach you the meaning of pain. A Glalie. Okay. If I was wrong, she does not start off with a Walrein. I think Walrein is her signature, and that's what her last Pokemon should be. Alright. Um... Sky Uppercut. Yes, it connects. Alright, so that Glalie's down for the count. There we go. Starting out strong. A Frostlass. Okay, this I can switch for. It's Ligra. I know I could just use Mach Punch, but I'm gonna see if I can maintain a speed boost to Ligra and see if I can just knock him out this way. So, Mega Evolve into Blaze Kick. I'm gonna see if I can hold the lead with a speed with a speed, bo uh, speed boost. Because if I can, the Ligra should sweep the rest of this one. All right, there goes your Frost Last, that's fine. Comes a speed boost. Wall rain. Here's the pain in my neck. I'm gonna switch. I really can't deal with wall rain as Slinger because he has thick fat on top of that as an ability. So fire type moves do half the damage. All right, here comes the big beefy boy. Sky Evercut. Oh, yes, and it was a critical. Oh, delicious. The game is working in my favor today. All right, Cell is now level 54. Awesome. Another Frostlass, okay. Switching back to Mega Saligra. I lost my speed boost, which sucks, but you know what? I don't care. Blaze Kick. Alright, alright, doing good, doing good. Jet's now level 43, I like it, I like it. Oh, another Glalie? Oh, that's perfect. I can finish you off right now. Blaze Kick! Nice! Alright, Rakona's level 46, which is going to be really helpful. And, ooh, Astalos is 50. Alright. You and your Pokemon, how hot your spirit burns. Well, I thank you, lady. You and your Pokemon, how fiercely your spirit burns. My icy moves pale in the face of such all-consuming flames. Advance to the next room. There you will learn how fearsome the Pokemon League can truly be. Which makes no sense to me, because I know what type the next room is. Your Pokemon should have beaten the next room. Because now we face 
Yes, the awesome, awe-inspiring power of fire types. No, not fire types. I wish it was a fire type, but it's not. In fact, it is dragon. So the ever difficult to get dragon types, I say as I have two dragon types on my team, um, they're gonna be our last opponents. So that's gonna be fun. Do I wanna start off with Vakona? I think I'll switch into Vakona just cause she's more fragile. I want her to be able to have a uh, full reign of using Drain Kiss. But I need Saligra to stay alive on top of everything else. I am the last... <coughs> excuse me. I am the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four, Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle alongside Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what it needs? If you don't, you will never prevail over me! Yeah, it takes having better Pokemon than the other person. That is a cool animation, though. Oh god, you should have the freaking Altaria? Ugh. Always forget you're technically a dra I think you're a dragon type? I know you're a dragon fairy when you mega evolve. I don't know if you're a normal flying right now or a dragon flying. I just hate Altaria with a burning passion. Get kicked. Yeah, you're a dragon type. Okay. Cotton Guard. That's adorable. Alright, so he has better defenses now, so that's gonna hurt even less. Shadow Claw. There we go. Aerial Ace. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Okay, that didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Alright, as long as the Leaker doesn't die, I'm fine. Because then I can just heal you up anyway. Alright, there's a crit. Nice, nice. Another Aerial Ace. Not gonna kill me. Speed boost up again. Flame Charge. Oh, you jerk. I forgot you have full restores. Oh no, now his HP is at max. Alright, now I have a problem. I'll sacrifice Jet for this. I will I will have to sacrifice Jet. If I'm lucky, I might not have to. Aerial Ace, that's cute. It's not going to do much damage. There we go. If I play this right, I should be able to kill you with this. Or you could just Dragon Pulse me first. Ooh, I'm sorry, Jet. I am so sorry, buddy. And what's worse is I can't bring Jet back now, because I have no revives. If I lose more than one Pokemon, that's a, that's it. My Pokemon League stint right now is going to be over. Ow. Gave my health back. How many times must you do this before I take all my health back? Thank you. Alright, so Leaker's level 56. Nice, nice. A uh, Flygon. Alright, so if you're playing along with me, my recommendation at the Boom Burst. What? What was that? If you're playing along with me, I would recommend at this point you make sure you have an Ice type Pokemon or somebody with an Ice type move like Ice Beam or Blizzard, because that would make this so much smoother. Screech, okay. Interesting. Give me back my health, though. Now, of course, you could also have a Dragon type as well, because Dragons are also weak to Dragon. Now, uh, that's also the problem. Dragon types are weak to Dragon types, so having a Dragon Pokemon on your team would leave you exposed to the same weakness that his team is exposed to. Unless your Dragon Pokemon is just that much faster, you'd be running the risk of, hey, I'm going to sack my own Dragon for your Dragon. Oh, I forgot you can learn Earthquake. Ooh, the Sturdy kicking in. Oh no, he dodged it. 
Ah, uh, but you see, two can play at the full restore game. Oh, you jerk. Alright. But now that I know you're gonna lock yourself into Earthquake, I can do this. Because now your Earthquake is gonna miss. There we go. Now it's just a battle of whose flag on is faster. Yes! And I hit. You should be dead. Ooh! So close. Ooh, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous game. Dangerous games. Oh, come on, you jerk. Crunch. I know it's not going to do much. But it's gonna be enough as long as I hit this Dragon Rush. Come on, don't fail me now, Astos. Yes! Nice! Good work, man. Oh my lord, that was risky. Alright, we got it though, we got it though. Oh, up. <laughs> come on, Kingdra. Remember when I said it would probably bite me in the butt if I got rid of Thunder? This is that time. But whatever, I can use Vicona. Kingdra is also dragon type, it's a water dragon. Actually no, it's a good thing I got rid of it because fire, water, and grass are all resisted by dragon. I forgot about that. They make it so in the original game, all your starters are gonna be beasted on by Lance and his dragon types, so you have to have somebody better. I'm okay with this. I'm actually okay with this. Only because I know that means you're gonna fall asleep too right after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall asleep. Synchronize. 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 What? No synchronize. Is it because he yawned it? Mmm. Surf. Okay. Okay. Wake up. Yes, thank you. Magic leaf. Alright, there we go. Nice, Vakona. Nice, nice. Vakona's actually putting in some deer really good work at the end of this. Ooh, a Salamence. I will save this last draining kiss for you, Salamence. All for you, buddy. Oh, but you have Crunch and you're fast. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Vakona, hold on, Betty. Hold on, buddy. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh my god, how did you live? Oh my... What in the world? Vakona, you beast! Okay, but now I have a problem. Because now I gotta either heal or switch. And what's worse is whoever I switch out to is going to get hit. Alright, I'm gonna use Cell first. As long as he doesn't try to hit me with a fire move, I'm gonna be okay. Crunch. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Defense fell. Effect spore. Paralyzed, okay. I'm going to attempt to sky cut. Come on! Don't fail me! Yes! Oh the crit! It came in handy! Oh the crit! Oh bless it! Bless the crit! Based crit! Cell coming in strong! Superb, it should be said. Holy cell, buddy. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a Pokemon trainer. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is tr a true and virtuous heart. It is through their heart, it is through their contact with trainers that Pokemon learn right from wrong. The influence of their trainers' good hearts help them to grow strong. Go on, go onward, the champion is waiting. Uh, I mean, the champion could wait a second, because, uh, holy, that was so close. Oh, man. That was actually really good. That was, that was beautiful. That was luck. That was 100% luck. Oh, man, Vakona hanging in there with 12 HP. The Sturdy kicking in with Raiju, saving him from fainting. Jet, I'm sorry, but your sacrifice was not in vain. We defeated the last of the Elite Four. Oh, man. Fully restore all of the moves from one Pokemon. 
I need this to go to Saligra. I don't have any other elixirs. Oh man, that was... We're gonna keep going. I know the episode's like almost over, but we're gonna see if we can beat the, the champion here. And then this giant monochromatic hall. The golden gates await. And here we are, guys. The Elite Four champion. Or the Pokemon League champion, I should say. And I'm sure you saw that blue hair. We all know it's you, Steven. Top 10 anime betrayals. Welcome, Atum. I was hoping I would one day see you make it here. Tell me, what have you seen on your journey with your Pokemon? What have you felt meeting so many other trainers out there? Traveling this rich land of Hoenn, has it awoken something inside you? I want you to come at me with all you've learned. My, my Pokemon and I will respond in turn with all that we know. Let it begin. Versus Steven, the Pokemon League champion. I mean, we're the one challenging him, but okay. All right, this is gonna actually be the toughest battle we've had so far. All right, Skarmory's level 57. I'm not holding anything back. I'm going straight into Mega Evolve into Blaze Kick. I need to one-shot this Skarmory. Oh, actually, no, I can't, because it's going to have Sturdy. I'm going to make him burn out all of his full restores, though, because I know he's going to use it. He's probably going to hit me up with an Aerial Ace. Let's kick. All right. Ooh. Oh, he spikes instead. Okay, I can, I can manage that. So long as I don't switch, I'm not going to actually take any free damage. He's going to full restore, though. There it is. I was expecting an Aerial Ace, but instead he's actually doing, like, competitive battling strats. So, like, setting up your first turn for any incoming switches later. Alright, Skarmory is now down for the count. This is good. I still have plenty of fire moves left in my reservoir. Ooh, an Aggron. I see you too are a man of class. Blaze kick it. I know you're part rock type, but I don't care. Ooh, the earthquake. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh no. No, 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 no. I ain't letting that slide. I'll switch to Astalos only because he has levitate, so the spikes aren't gonna hit. Ah, Earthquake missed. Nice try. But I'll show you what a real Earthquake looks like, buddy. Goodbye, Raiju. Ooh, Sleeker's level 57. Nice. Yes! Sky Uppercut. That is what we need. I'm get. Ooh! I could keep Shadow Claw. Get rid of Flame Charge. I'm gonna do that for now. Nah, I'm sure you guys have been wondering, like, no, don't get rid of Flame Charge. You need that in case you run out of fire moves. But no, I got fighting moves now, so I'm fine. A Clay Doll. Alright, interesting choice there. You have Levitate too, so I'm not going to use that. But I will use Crunch, because I know you're part Psychic. Okay, raising defenses of your team, okay. Going to Crunch it again. This is where having an Ice type move would also be handy. This Clay Doll is Ground Psychic. Extra Sensory. Ow. Crunch, I'm, I need to lower your defenses at least once. Nothing. Oh, I'm gonna lose Flygon. No, Ast Ooh, Astalos lives. Hit him with the Crunch. Crit, 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 crit. Oh, oh, but his defenses are down. Oh, Asilos, thank you so much, man. Holy moly. Your sacrifice shall not be in vain. 
This is now Cell's time to shine. Alright, he's gonna probably use the full restore again, and I'm okay with this. Because Cell, you got Sea Bomb. And now with his defenses lowered after he used Reflect, should feel like a normal Sea Bomb. Nice. And the Reflect wore off, so that means he has even less defenses. I'm gonna Mega Drain to get your health back. Should be... Ooh, he's barely alive. I'm gonna see if he's gonna use another full restore. Another extra sensory. Oh, this is gonna hurt bad. Oh, this is gonna hurt real bad. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, Cell. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. This is not good. A Kray Dilly? Ah, oh, crap baskets. Um, I'm gonna use Raiju here, actually. Spikes won't do too much. I have four times resistance to them, I think, if I'm remembering it right. Yeah. That's what I thought. Spikes don't do anything. Oh, they do very little. Hurt by the spikes. That's cute and all. Flamethrower. Yeah, it does absolutely diddly. Okay. Cray Dilly, I'm okay with you doing your thing. I'm gonna heal. I need to heal my peeps. Full restore. Cell needs it like bad. Giga Drain. Oh man. Thank God I'm part steel. Raiju, you might faint. And if you do, I am so sorry for that, buddy. Alright, we're gonna heal you as well. And if you don't feed on this turn, I'm gonna heal you too. Another Giga Drain. to fight another day. Heal up. Oh, man. So we're down to the last two Pokemon that he has on his party. It's Cradley and I know what his last Pokemon is. It's, or, oh, wait, no, his last three. Oh, fudge. Oh, man, this is actually really bad to think about it. Because I'm kind of put into the same situation that he is. He's going to be down to three, and I'm going to be down to three. I need to make sure this Cradley dies without taking anybody else out. No, Cradley dodged the attack. Oh, Raiju. Alright, Raiju, it's okay, buddy. You, you were there for the heals. Right, who do I use here? Saligra. I'm gonna use Saligra here. Very risky, but if I get this off, I should be good. Skyrim cut. Swing. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 dying, no dying. All right, there we go, speed boost. All right, place game. Don't you dare full restore, Steven. All right, last two, last two. All right, Vakona's level 48. Another speed boost. I should be outspeeding everything in his team now. All right, here comes an Armaldo. Man, he really loves his rocks, because he got both fossil Pokemon. Ooh, Crush Claw. Okay. Another speed boost. I'm okay with this. Get another Skyrim, baby. I should take care of Armaldo. Armaldo is down. Oh, man, this is crazy. Matter gross. Here it is. The final stand, boys. Mega Metagross. With your 97 spikes. Ooh, a Zen head, but ooh, but I dodged! Ooh, ooh, this is it, this is it! Saligra, you did it! You did it, baby! <laughs> you done did it! You did it! Oh! Oh, that dodge was so good! Oh my god, I can't believe I dodged that. Oh, that was pure luck. Oh, Sleeker's level 58. But I don't care. We just beat Champion Steven, guys. That's it. So I, the champion, fall in defeat. Mom, Dad, are you looking? Are you proud of me, Dad? Do you love me yet, Dad? Just as I've come to expect.
Atum, you truly are an excellent trainer. Congratulations to you, and thank you. I wanted to learn how you feel about this world, what kinds of ideals you had, or what kind of ideals you've developed with your Pokemon. I feel I was able to find that answer in battle. The feelings you have for your Pokemon and the way that your Pokemon give all, their all in battle responds to those feelings. Those two created a great power. This is how you seize victory today. I felt a thrill of excitement in my breast. Okay. Felt a thrill of excitement in my breast when we first met, and now I know for sure that that feeling was not misplaced. You are the right. You are rightfully the Hoenn region's new. Atum, wait! I've got some advice you gotta hear before challenging the champion. Mate, you're like 30 seconds too late. Huh, wait, what? What? Could it be that it's already over? See, what did I say, May? Didn't I tell you that a tomb would be just fine? A tomb, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Pedalberg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you actually became the champion. Could you tell my dad to start coming home again, please? But congratulations on today's victory. Now go in there with your head held high. A tomb? No, I should call you the Hoenn region's new Pokemon League champion. Come with me, champion. I'm very sorry. But only a trainer who has successfully become the champion may go on beyond this point. You'll need to wait outside with the professor. No way! Just joking. It's okay. It's fine. Rules are rules, right? Atum, honestly, congratulations. Auto saves. Delicious. In this room? This is where we maintain the records of Pokemon that prevailed through the harshest of battles. It is here that the League Champions are honored. Come, we will use this machine to record your name and the names of their partners who battled alongside you. We, uh, alongside you to triumph over the Pokemon League. It's the squad! The Hall of Fame. Welcomes Saligra, level 58, the Blaziken. Vakona, level 48. Cell, level 55. Raiju, level 52. Jet, level 43. And Astalos, level 51. Congratulations on becoming the Pokemon League Champion! Real quick before they say anything, I'm sorry if you heard that clatter. <laughs> Welcome back, Atum. Oh, I can't click anything. Okay, never mind. I just thought, you know, that since we're both here and all that, I'd wait for you. We set out on this journey together, right? So maybe we should finish it together, too. <laughs> so, come on, let's go home. Back to Little Root Town. Is my dad finally home? Is my dad proud of me? Are you proud of me, Dad? I did it! I became the league champion! Please, Dad, come home. Mom's trying to bang them a champ now. And that's it, guys. We've officially beaten Pokemon Omega Ruby. So, you know, it's been amazing. This this game is still just as amazing as I remember it. I've always been a Pokemon fan since, like, young. In fact, one of my first video games I ever bought, I think it was my second one. It was the first one I bought with my own money. It was Pokemon Red. That was my very first Pokemon game. And I loved it with all my heart. I still actually have the, the original copy and everything still in my bag actually or in one of my drawers I have that with my Game Boy Advance I don't unfortunately have my original Game Boy but you know what I could still play my red so I don't really mind and playing through this again made me feel like I was you know 
exploring the regions again like I was a little kid. Because I haven't played Omega Ruby in so long. I think it's been like four or five years since I even like picked up Omega Ruby. Let alone played like any real Pokemon game in general. I haven't played them in a hot minute. Oh man, back when we first got Torchic. But yeah, so... Oh, back when we battled main one. But yeah, so... Back... Like, just playing this made me feel like I used to when I was a kid. And honestly, it's fun. This game, if you've never played a Pokemon game or know somebody who's never played a Pokemon game, I'd say just let them play it just once. Let them decide for themselves. But honestly, this series itself is magical in the sense that you get to... Oh, man, that's right. I did have a Combusken when I fought her. Oh, that's right. Because I, I got lucky and I had the double kicks. So I just molly -whopped her. Yep, still had a Combusken against Makahita. Is this just showing me who I used in battle against them? Like, when they sent out their signature Pokemon? I wonder. That means the next one. Yeah. Okay, no, that's when I met Steven. I didn't battle you. I battled with you. But, yeah. It... Honestly, the Pokemon series itself is something magical. It's an amazing game series. There's... I really can't praise it enough for giving it that innocent feel of you're going on a grand adventure stopping some crazy villains and yeah i think i think i was right i'm gonna put that scene up on screen see if i remember if it was shroomish that battle against magneton first but yeah no um this game series itself does amazing things to feel like you're going on this crazy grand adventure that seems to like span almost its own world like each region feels like their own place and not my own place like okay you know you could tell this is supposed to be based off of new york or off of japan or off of hawaii whatever it feels more like this is its own world that takes place separate from everything else but at the same time it's all connected and it is a gorgeous feeling to be a part of that world and you know, rising through the ranks of their most powerful trainers. And it is amazing playing through that when you feel like, hey, you know, I can't really do anything much right now, but then you kind of grow up like you're almost like Wally in the sense that it's like, hey, you know, I'm a kid, I'm seven or eight. I can't go on these crazy grand adventures like I see Ash doing on the TV show or like I see if they watch Dragon Ball, if I see Goku doing all these crazy grand adventures, I can't do those things. To me, this game does that. It lets you feel like you're going on this crazy grand adventure across this giant world, and it makes you feel accomplished in a sense. I wonder why they showed that spot there. Maybe it's because I never went? I don't know. But yeah, so, that aside, this has been a really fun Let's Play. It's actually the first Let's Play I completed on my channel, so I feel really happy. And it is absolutely insane that in just 24 episodes, I was able to finish this. I'm sure I could have finished it a lot faster. It's, it's not a speed run. It wasn't a, oh, I'm going to try to break world records and beat the game in an hour, or I'm going to beat the game in 45 minutes. I'm not trying to do that kind of stuff. I enjoyed playing through the way I did and taking my time with it, catching Pokemon I wanted to catch, and, you know, sort of re relearning the game in a sense. Because, yeah, I know, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember this and I remember that, but honestly, I only remembered it in the moment. I, it was just as much a I'm remembering these things as they happen situation. Because they even said it's like, oh, okay, maybe her first Pokemon is a wall rain. And I was wrong. The only reason I remembered a wall rain in there was because it's like, I remember that wall rain giving me problems in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Because I had a Blaziken and no other fighting Pokemon. In fact, in Emerald, when I first went through the Elite Four, Blaziken was my only fighting Pokemon who didn't even have a fighting move. Like, the reason why I beat the Elite Four the first time I around was my Blaziken learned Sky Uppercut right before Steven sends out his Metagross. 
and he was my last Pokemon with like 20 HP, learned Sky Uppercut, and I prayed, and I was like, okay, let the Sky Uppercut hit. I didn't even know about type advantages. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just try out this new move, and hopefully it works. And I nailed him right across the chin, and I won with one Pokemon left. I had my, it was me, it was a Blaziken, sorry, my Blaziken, I had Groudon with me, who else was on my party? Uh, Flygon, Agron, because funny enough, you're going to hear a lot of similar Pokemon, because those Pokemon were like, like I said, they were like some of my favorites. Agron, Flygon, Blaziken, Groudon, uh, who else was on my team? I think Gardevoir was on my team at that time, funny enough. And I think I had my Lotic. And man, was it fun. Just getting that last hit and man managing to win. Here we are in Route 103. Oh, remember that pond? It's where we first battled, isn't it? Atun, could you do something for me? Come on, let's battle one more time. Are you insane? I, I barely won. I want to know what you saw on your journey, how you felt, and how you, what you experienced out there. I want to understand everything about you and your Pokemon, Atum. And then... I want you to understand everything about me and mine. I love how they animated her actual lips as if she was talking. I mean, I, I guess we're going to do this now. <laughs> All right, let's go, man. Oh, man. All right, Sleeker. Let's go. I was... N I did not remember this. Mega Evolve into Blaze Kick, because I am not playing. Oh, man. Bada boom. Instantly knock out that swallow. Thank you. Speed boost. Okay. Macargo. I'm not gonna switch for that. Mm, sky uppercut. Even though I know it's not super effective. Well, it shouldn't be. Actually, no, it is because you're rock type. Durr. You're fire rock. For some reason, I keep thinking he's fire crown. Right you. Interesting. Very interesting. Shadow Claw. Wow, he actually lived with like one HP. Okay. Another speed boost. I'll take it. I'm still probably gonna go second only because I'm paralyzed. Thunderbolt. Okay. Cute. Shadow Claw. Goodbye. A Breloom? You still have that guy around? Well, then again, I shouldn't be talking. I, I still have my Breloom, too. Man, Mei wasn't kidding when she said she was just going to focus more on traveling and catching more Pokemon instead of just saying, hey, I'm going to actually train them. Because, uh, you're getting swept pretty darn easily. I'm not even going to switch. I'm going to disrespect on the Swampert. A level 50 Swampert. Okay. Sky Uppercut. Oh, 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 maybe not. Okay. Maybe I'm not going to disrespect. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, it's the Hulk. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, that's, that's beyond not good. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I done goofed. Oh, had I known you were going to Mega Evolve, I would have just said Bla uh, Blaze Kick. Uh... The, the bird move. The flying move. Uh, Brave Bird. There we go. Goodbye, Swampert. You massive Hulk-looking thing. Thanks, Atum. You really are a champion. Meeting so many different people and encountering so many Pokemon. 
It's just really... It's been really, really fun. Couldn't have said it better myself. Ah! A tomb, look at that. Pokemon Omega Ruby. Norman? Sorry, I don't- I know you're watching your show, but... Hmm? What is it? You do remember that we planned to go watch the meteor shower in Moss Deep. Ah, about that. I've been meaning to tell you, but... Looks like I'm gonna have to go to the gym at that day. Come on, Dad. Uh, oh, well, work is work, I suppose. But look at that. Mom's gonna go bang him a champ again. I'm sorry, honey. It's fine. No, really, it's fine. I'm just gonna go fuck him a champ. But what should we do with the tickets we bought? Hmm, that's true. We already paid for them, so... have it guys the main story is over but the journey in pokemon omega ruby isn't done yet but for now it has been a pleasure everyone i will see you here next time on let's play pokemon omega ruby when we figure out what in the world is going on over in moss deep so hope to see you all here next time on let's play pokemon omega ruby guys if you like today's episode go ahead and give it that good old thumbs up drop a comment uh, if you really like my content, go ahead and hit subscribe so that way you're ready for the next episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. Let me just skip the fanfare because I know it's going to be obnoxiously loud. So if you like it, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you're ready for the next episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. It's going to be a few days from now. Um, I definitely need to let this game rest for a little bit. And if you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down, comment, let me know what you think I can do better. But it's been a pleasure, everyone. I hope you all have a great day. Let me think, let me, let me see something nice and motivational for today. Where's my book at? Mm-hmm. Let's see what we got for today. Hmm. I don't remember if I used that one or not, so I'm going to skip that one. Here we go. Hard times don't create heroes. It is during the hard times when the hero within us is revealed. Bob Riley. So guys, I hope you all have a great day. If you're going through something hard, hang in there. I know you can do it. So, catch you all next time on Pokemon Omega Ruby. Or, let's play Pokemon Omega Ruby. We're going to figure out what's going on in the 2B Continued section. We're going to hit that post game. When we come back, my team is probably going to be a lot different. 
I'm going to probably try and get the Pokemon leveled up to like level 50s. Because as you saw, that Metagross, uh, he was pretty beefy. He was level like 57, and Saligra was the only option I had for that. Had I not, had he not missed that Zen headbutt, I'm not honestly sure if we could have won that battle. But it has been a pleasure. I will see you all here next time. Have a great and wonderful day.